Hello, everybody. Happy Labor Day, September 6, 2021. It's your boy, Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor in Paradise. A guy's review. That's right, it's Labor Day. Why am I making a video on Labor Day? Because I'm trying to get one of you guys to invite me to a barbecue. Come on, I live in Los Angeles. Who's having a barbecue? DM me. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'll show up. All right, folks. We've got a couple videos today, and then we're going to have Bachelor in Paradise recaps, live streams, the whole shebang later on today and tomorrow. So plenty of content coming your way. Do me a favor on this Labor Day. Um, labor that finger on top of that like button and subscribe. That was kind of a stretch. Uh, and get out there and thank you so much for uh, commenting and all the other things you guys do to help promote the channel. Appreciate you so much. In this video, look, uh, we've made a lot of these videos. Who's the next Bachelor? What are they going to do? There's spread charts and Bachelor data. Well, on the 7th of September is the most likely day they're going to. And then after week five on Bachelor in Paradise, they released it. To, it's like, look, we have no idea when they're going to announce the next Bachelor, but they're going to have to start filming this thing soon. So... I've gotten this story sent to me from a few different people saying, hey, there's rumors that so-and-so, you know, women have dropped out because they heard The Bachelor was going to be so-and-so. And it's almost like, what started first, the rumors or the stories about the rumors? It's almost hard to tell. So anyway, I'm not going to uh, put too much weight onto this story because, first of all, it's ScreenRant.com. Uh, and no offense to them, but... Uh, you know, is this, did an AI write this? No offense, Maggie Mead. You're, I'm sure you're a fantastic journalist here, but what are we doing? Uh, what does it say about me? I'm talking about it. Um, anyway, several women reportedly drop out after learning Leeds identity. Of course, it doesn't say who the Leeds identity is. And this is all based on a uh, submission that was sent to Scoopy. Traditionally, the lead of The Bachelor is selected from the contestants who appeared on the previous season of The Bachelorette. However, Bachelor season 26 will be slightly different because it will be preceded by two seasons of Bachelorette, Katie Thurston and Michelle Young's. It won't be someone from Michelle Young's season. It just that's just I doubt that's going to happen unless they have some diamond in the rough. After Katie's season, several popular candidates emerged from Bachelorette's final five. Michael A., Andrew S., Justin G. <laughs> However, ABC's supposed pick is considerably more controversial. Blogger Reality Steve revealed the next lead's supposed to be Greg Grippo. We already know that for the last month or, or two, actually. There's still time for the network to change its mind, but Reality Steve said he would be very surprised if Greg isn't their final pick. However, Greg has strongly divided fans and even potential contestants. A Bachelor Nation spoiler Instagram account, BachelorNation.Scoop, shared a submission from a follower whose sister was in the final stages of casting. The follower added, she backed out and apparently lots of others did when they saw the direction of who was probably going to be The Bachelor. So this is pretty far along from, uh, you know, uh, something sustained. Like there's, there, what, what are we supposed to go? Like this is a rumor sent in by somebody. And I'm, I mean, I don't hate that BachelorNation.Scoop posted it. I love what, I love what they post. Uh, BachelorNation.Scoop's been very critical of having Greg Grippo as the next Bachelor to the point where people are trying to dox them and find out who it is. It's kind of like Gossip Girl. Uh, they're, they're an account that uh, you don't know their identity. They're kind of like they're the Batman of the Bachelor world. And I, I think that's great. I wish people didn't know my identity sometimes until I'm trying to promote a stand-up show this Wednesday at the Berkshire House in Hollywood. Come see me. And then this Friday and Sunday, I'll have shows actually in Brooklyn, New York. Friday late night show on a rooftop at 10 p.m. And Sunday, I have an 8 p.m. show at Eastville Comedy Club in Brooklyn, New York. I'll share more info if I have any other shows that come along in New York City, but I'll be there this, this coming weekend can't wait for that hope to meet some of you guys out there hey maybe some former bachelor contestants will be out at the shows who knows folks who knows so anyway this story that uh the lead uh you know it, it, that women are backing out because of the lead here's what happens the bachelor producers pick like a hundred women right you know, that are like the finalists ready to go maybe it's 40 with the window it down and then they go okay would you be okay if it was Andrew S. as The Bachelor? Would you be okay if it was Greg Grippo as The Bachelor? Would you be okay if it was Justin? And then they pick which one they would be suited for. That way they don't bring women on the show that aren't excited to meet the lead. So, of course, there's going to be scenarios where someone's like, I'm an Andrew S. guy. I don't want Greg. No big deal, you know? So that's it's not absurd to think that people will back out because they don't like who it is. Now, Greg Grippo's got a huge fan base. He's got a gigantic fan base here. And there's obviously a ton of people who think it's very problematic the way he kind of uh, handled Katie Thurston's season. One of which would be me. Uh, but I also believe 
that people can redeem themselves. The question becomes whether or not folks believe he can redeem himself in the short amount of time between one season and the next. And my thought is, yes, statistically, I think any quantum leaps can happen. Any moments of enlightenment can happen. Um, obviously, when we talk about the show, there's a lot of money involved. The lead gets paid several hundred thousand dollars, and they 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 almost instantly become a millionaire in today's late stage capitalistic world. They really do because once they get their following count up to around a million, they basically make a dollar per follower a year for several years after the show for as long as they can maintain their position in Bachelor Nation. Looking at you, Nick. That's just how it works. That's a smart way to look at it, right? Greg at the Osprey. Jersey Shore was so rude and cold, but took pics with us. I asked him about being the bachelor. He said, I can't say wink. So unsure if that's the attention. How about that? He was so rude and cold, but took pics with people. Oh yeah. I'm sure he was so rude and so cold. Maybe he's uh, not used to strangers approaching him. How entitled do people get I mean, rude and cold. Does this look like he's rude there? You know, someone comes up to him. Maybe he's in a conversation talking about his mom. You know, who knows what's going on there? And then someone's like, can I get a picture with you? And he's like, yeah, I guess so. You have to you have to realize it's not just inconveniencing Greg Grippo. It's inconveni- inconveniencing the party around him. Like, there's p- plenty of celebrities, right, that go, look, I'm not going to take photos with my fans when I'm with my family. And it's not necessarily because the celebrity doesn't want to. It's because what does that say about his family that he's just like pushes his family aside at Disney World so he can take photos with someone? At some point, this is just a random example. People have to be like, you know what? I, I know. Like at some point, there's an insatiable thirst for an audience that wants a piece of you that you have to go, no, he's obviously not at that point. These people are kind of like casually recognized, but if they're going to be at like the Taylor Swift level of fame, at some point you just have to go, no, I literally can't take a photo with everyone at every bar I go to. It becomes insane. And that's a hard place for people to sort of reckon with because most people don't experience celebrity so they can't understand like how draining that would be to a human and people go oh wow but he's come on he's made he's got it all going for him yeah maybe but that doesn't that doesn't fill the internal uh well of sanity that keeps people going and that that's that's very hard you know oh wow must be tough being taylor swift yeah you know what i bet it is i bet i bet i bet it really is i bet there are days where she wishes she could like slip into a starbucks you know i saw celine dion in a starbucks once Actually, it was a Greg's Coffee or Phil's. No, it was a Phil's Coffee. And I said Greg's. It was a Phil's Coffee in West Hollywood. And I remember looking at her and going, oh my gosh, no one's recognizing Celine Dion right now. That's cool. Good for her. She was like slipped in. But Hollywood and New York are places where you can kind of do that sometimes where you can kind of like slip in and not get recognized. But if you're at a bar, you're going to get recognized because most people at bars are thirsty and uh, and Greg's a tall glass of water. All right, so... Um, yeah, it's not uh, pertinent. So here's another one from Greg over the weekend. Some girl from my high school. Very nice. Greg with very beautiful women here. Uh, more photos from people meeting Greg tonight. Yeah, it's like, look. Oh, yeah. He, what a what an a-hole. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. Takes photos. Look, make sure he puts his hand in the front. You know what I mean? He, you know, just so there's no questions what's going on. There's some more photos with him. He's I, By the way, he's wearing a baggy t-shirt. The guy doesn't even have to try anymore. Um... Any last photos here? So here we have at so at Hampton Social in Chicago on Saturday. Super nice. Super, super nice about taking photos with the entire bachelorette party. So this is some of the guys. Is Greg Grippo in this photo? That Greg Grippo right there? Boy, it looks like I'm looking at a Bigfoot image. What are we doing over here? So there they are taking photos. So anyway, the jury's out if they're a-holes or not. I mean, look, it seems to be the issue with Greg it wasn't whether or not he was an a-hole. He seemed like he was a good guy. They got along very well. I think the issue was how, you know, they handled their exits, you know, him and Katie. Uh, Greg is accused of being a stale saltine. Here's an interesting one. Talk about entitled. Watch this. Taking a video of me. So there's Greg right there. Um, Greg was a stale saltine. He was not friendly at all. He like just looked really annoyed. Um, and if you look at the video at the end, he's like asking Z to stop filming. And obviously the flash was an accident. We didn't mean to have the flash on and we didn't want to talk to them for a really long time. But I also feel like not to be like that girl. If I was a size two or something, I don't really think they would have cared if you catch my But drift. if I was a size two, they wouldn't have cared that we were doing that. Do you know what I mean? Um, they weren't into it. But also like I wasn't trying to like make out with them. I was just like talking to them. So... 
That's a t- can you imagine? Can you imagine if the threshold for for dealing with someone is, hey, I wasn't trying to make out with you. I was just trying to talk to you. Hey, like Dwayne Johnson goes by. Hey, come on, give me your time. Talk to me. Take a photo. I got the flash on. Let's take a video. I'm not trying to make out with you, bro. I'm just trying to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great line. If anyone ever wants to see me after a show, do, hey, I'm not trying to make out with you, Dave. I'm just trying to talk to you. What are you doing? I do appreciate when people come up to me after a show and talk to me. I got some tagged photos on my Instagram if you want to go check that out from my show in West Hollywood. I, I met some really fun people. Um, so if you look at back to the beginning here, here's Greg. They've got the flash on. Apparently, they had agreed to a photo. And th- this is what you have to understand. There might be a, th- a hundred versions of this, people coming up to them asking for a photo. So this person says essentially says if i were if i were skinnier greg would have given me the time of day so she's playing the victim here whether that's true or not you can't you can't play the victim uh it, it, but before something has happened like well if i like if, if you when you say if it's a conditional statement so she's saying if i were skinnier i would have not been rejected by greg grippo um mm, uh, I don't know. That's a weird world to live in. That's a weird world to live in for her. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's watch this one more time and watch Greg right here. So there's Greg. So Greg's about to be like, dude, turn the... Because they have a flash on and they're they're all partying. It's You can hear by this song, you know, so put your hands up, play my song. You know, that that when that song comes on, it's 2 a.m. You're trying to have fun. The Molly hit, whatever the case may be. And then he's like, dude, what are you doing? Come on, get out of there. Look, ready, watch. He's going, go, what are you doing? You see that? So that's where that is right there. So, um, so and he does a little bit of that. Oh, and then of course, Justin's just having fun. He doesn't care. But, um, you know, it's, it's interesting because I'm not trying to get an audience to feel bad for Greg. I'm just saying this is a nightmare scenario. It's a nightmare scenario. If he gets the show, it's going to be just like crazy pushback and, X isn't this and that, of course. And look, I, you can have grace for people that may have had bad relationship, bad relationships with him. There's been people that have written in that say, "Oh, I used to date him. Or my friend used to date him. He was horrible. He was X, Y, and Z. This and that." It's it's kind of ugly if he gets it, but it already is ugly. So it's like me, you know, maybe maybe um, maybe he, you know, if you're Greg, you push for that redemption story. I don't know. Read a few comments. Listen, I'm no Greg defender. I think he is mediocre at best. But if some rando was coming up to me with a camera in my face at the club and I wasn't feeling in the mood to entertain that, I'd be salty too. These people are human beings, not zoo animals on display. That has 93 points uh, upvotes. That's, that's a very popular comment. Exactly how I feel. No one owes you a video of them or entertainment, right? There's also a big difference between agreeing to a quick photo and someone continuing to hang around and take video of you. Now listen, I've got a, a penny's worth of people that ask for my time. A lot of people in my DMs, and I love to respond to comments, but there are those I never get to. And then I I hear from people, I won't respond to their comment, and then they'll go, cool. And it's like, how dare you think I owe you any of my time, you know? And so when some random jabroni comes up to him with the videos going, he doesn't know their intention. He doesn't know what they're trying to do. And even if they did have good intentions, it's like, whoa, man. Like, this is my my world. And, you know, it looks like most people kind of agree with that statement. Maybe he didn't want a stupid flash in his face. Obvs, the flash was an accident. Like, sure, maybe it was. But y'all were still shining a spotlight on them in the middle of an otherwise dark location, which naturally draws even more attention and is generally annoying. So maybe this chick should remember the no flash photography rule and not assume that Greg's wave of the hand was at all related to her, to her pant size. Signed, a plus sizer, who would also expect the target of my uninvited attention to be irritated with me. I wonder when society will get to a place where we empathize more with with the um, the, the 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 fallout. And 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 I under and I understand what people say. Look, you went on a show. You were asking for it. That's what people say. You went on a show. You made m- tons of money off of a show. You're asking for it, and they're j- it's just not a fair comparison. You can want to go on a dating show and you can even want to be recognized and still want people to treat you uh, with decency. All right. Who do you think will be the next Bachelor? Um, 4,500 votes. Reddit believes it'll be Greg. Andrew, not even a close second. There are rumors that it will be Andrew, although that's been shut down by some other people. Um, Michael, not even close. 
I still think Michael's in the running. Um, some think that maybe Greg was the initial one that Reality Steve posted. Reality Steve's saying, he's continuing to say it is still Greg. So we'll have to see. Um, what's this one? What do we got here? Um, oh, we already posted that. And then Greg just posted this photo, him and the boys, Mikey in the background, Andrew and Justin, just a nice photo right there. They all do legs, looking very good. Come to me in your 30s when you don't have time to do legs anymore. I'm kidding. Uh, some of them are in their 30s. No, they're all no, they're all pretty young. Um, all right, and then uh, our final one here, Michael A. This is Michael A. Let's play a clip of him. Uh, some people are saying, hey, he was on Nick Files podcast yesterday. Maybe Michael is still in the running. Maybe this is maybe they're he, maybe they're priming him to be the next Bachelor, and maybe that's why women were turning it down because they don't want to live in Ohio because that might be a prerequisite. We don't know for sure. Can Michael name three Britney Spears songs? Uh, Toxic. Um, is that the uh, slave for you? I'm a slave for you. Yeah, and one more time. Hit me, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Is it one more time? Now, we know Katie Thurston was on Nick Files' podcast, and they asked her uh, to name four, uh, four countries in Africa, and she couldn't do it, and that like made tons of news. So here you're about to see the response to that. <laughs> Come now, Michael. I'm not joking. Give us a... Get, throw a effort i would totally like i There's really not one he's saying I he doesn't won. know any taylor swift I really songs don't listen to her at all but it's just like on the radio <laughs> but i don't really listen to the radio oh no so he uh, you drops on my guitar i applaud yeah i think mean, <laughs> mcgraw amazing. um you our know, song I mean, this is gonna get our some serious blowback song. worse than the katie africa thing <laughs> Watch his comment on the TDF. Can you name four countries in Africa? I, yeah. Uh, Zimbabwe. Amanda, pick that out. I just want to... Zimbabwe, Which Mozambique. Which is also totally fine. Yeah. But like, oh, you know... Yeah. Okay, to be fair, Nick didn't I, really, pick I thought the she was going to do it. I wasn't trying to make it like a gotcha thing. I like, I thought she was going to be able to do it. It's not our bad. Yeah. 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 Do, you, do you want Can, me to, do, you want yeah. to do this? Yeah, please. Zimbabwe, Mozambique, uh, South Africa, uh, Congo, Ivory Coast, Madagascar. Uh, Nambia, um, Senegal. Senegal. You're going for like the non-basic ones. Senegal, yeah, yeah. yeah. Su Sudan. Um, did you want to? Do you really wanted to upstage your ex-girlfriend? Chad, didn't you? <laughs> he went, and he missed like he did. Like maybe a little. Like, he missed the easy ones like Kenya, Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah. right, <laughs> Kelly, right. Like around everyone knows. Yeah. I, I can't believe that ever became a thing. But. This Taylor Swift thing's about to be a thing. But it's, <laughs> yeah, but you it's, imagine, yeah, Michael. Yeah. Michael gets canceled because he. Can't oh my him. God! The outrage. I'm sorry. I mean. For anybody that's going to throw shade on this, which I already imagine will happen. Just say, just say shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up is also my Not favorite. The Welcome to All right. Your... So anyway, uh, Michael A., as charming as ever, you know, he would still be a great contender to be the lead of The Bachelor. Of course, whatever he ends up doing, I fully support and uh, look forward to him, uh, you know, be, being a good dad. You know, he's the dad. <laughs> Michael A. is adopting all of Bachelor Nation as the dad we all need. Um so we'll have to see how it goes. Let me know what you guys think. Um, at, uh, we should know soon. We should know this week. We're going to get a ton of information this week. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's all going to come when I'm on the road and it's going to, you know, d delay all of my plans. But if you're in New York City this Friday and Sunday and maybe Saturday, I'll have stand-up shows. Um, so far, just in Brooklyn, I'm trying to get a Manhattan show as well. Uh, let me know if you guys can make it. And Wednesday at the Berkshire House in Hollywood. Also, I'm, I, can you believe this? I'm already starting to plan for Vlogmas this year. Vlogmas is a day, it's a, in the month of December, from December 1st to the 25th, it's a Christmas-themed vlog every single day. I'm going to try to get some Bachelor contestants to be a part of it with me. I'm going to, it's going to be a ton of work, but it's, last year we did it for the first time, and it was such a fun community where everyone every day uh, kind of like shared in some Christmas cheer. I can't believe I'm already starting to think about that, but I'm going to have to start planning it soon. Um, so if you if you haven't already, go over to my vlog channel, Dave Neal Vlogs. I have a vlog up that I posted just a few days ago, and we have some more content coming up that we've been editing all weekend. We literally have just been working nonstop, my fiance and myself, to try to get some of this content out for you guys. So go over there, give it a like, uh, give it a follow if you haven't already on the vlog channel, and we'll have more content to come. Um, today... 4 p.m. Pacific time pre-episode live stream. I'm going to do a post-East Coast episode live stream, which is 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to do a post-West Coast live stream, which is 10 p.m. So that's three live streams today and 
two or three tomorrow. There'll be a lot. So just stick around if you're if you're around and don't have anything better to do. Come hang out with us. And um, hey, happy Labor Day. We'll talk to everyone uh, soon. Bye now.